Consider the ambiguous case. We have angle C is 33 degrees. So we'll just draw an angle C, 33, like this. This here is 33. Side C equals 6. And side B equals 10. We'll call this 10, which is B. And this capital B looks like this. What are the possible angles of B? So we'll call this B1 as the first possible acute angle. However, imagine this arm swings left and right, and so we have a second possibility. This other angle here is B2. This B1 is acute, and this B2 is obtuse. It's bigger than 90 degrees. So let's solve this. First, when looking at the larger triangle, we have an acute B1. Let's play catch. We have sine B over 10 equals sine of C, which is 32 degrees, divided by 6. Multiplying both sides by 10, we have sine B equals 10 times sine 33 over 6. Hitting sine inverse, we get B is approximately 65.2 degrees. Now the fast way to figure out this B2 is to subtract 180 minus B1. So B2 equals 180 minus B1, which is approximately 114 degrees. 114.8 to be accurate to one decimal place. Notice that this arm can be thought of as a radius swinging around from here to here. So this length of 6 is also the length of 6 here. And so this is an isosceles triangle. So this angle B1 here is the same as this angle here. And thus, this obtuse angle is 180, the flat line, minus B1. Now let's focus on figuring out length A. So we'll redraw this triangle a little bit better, this way here. And we're going to focus on the larger triangle first, because this is large A is what we're trying to figure out right now. And this happens to be the angle here, and this is C, and this is B. So we've previously figured out that B1 is around 65.2 degrees. This is 33. And we can subtract to figure out angle A. So 180 minus 33 minus 65.2 is approximately 81.8. And you can keep all the extra digits on your calculator. This is angle A. And we had side lengths of 10 and 6. And let's play catch across this way, because this side length 6 is, a, is exact, and so is the angle. So let's use the sine law. 6 over sine 33, we're playing catch across the triangle, equals the length A over sine of the angle A, which happens to be approximately 81.8 degrees. Multiplying both sides by the denominator, we have A is 6 over sine 33 times sine 81.8, which is about 10.9 units long. Now let's focus on the shorter version of side length A, this triangle over here, the orange triangle here. So let's redraw it on the top. So this smaller triangle has your B2 angle. And we're trying to solve for A2. We just solved for A1 previously over here. This is A1. We know this is C. This is A. This is 10. We know this is also 6, because the 6 and the 6 is isosceles. And we previously solved B2 to be 114.8. And we know this angle C is 33 degrees. So let's play catch again with 
side length 6 and 33 degrees. Using the sine law, we have 6 over sine 33 equals the side length, which is A2, over this mystery angle up here. Now, to figure out this mystery angle, we'll call it theta. We subtract 180 minus 33 minus B2, which is 114.8. So theta is approximately 32.2 degrees. So we have A2 playing sine law catch over sine of 32.2. Now, of course, on your calculator, keep all your digits of accuracy. Multiplying both sides, we have A2 equals sine 32.2 multiplied by 6 over sine 33, which is approximately 5.87. So this here is a second possible length of A.